Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Danielle Torres. If you're new here, I wanna say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I have lots of things that I wanna share with you, lots of things that I wanna talk to you about, and I wanna know you. So please, if you get a chance, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and if the content is something that helps you, then please share this video with someone else. That's all I ask. Okay, so let's get into this. Ladies, this video is for you, and I'm sure there are guys out there that can relate to what I'm about to say, but this video is specifically for you ladies. I have a word for you today, and that is stop putting yourself last. As women, we are caregivers, we are supporters, we are leaders, we are pioneers, we are homemakers, we are homeschool teachers, we are teachers' teachers. There are so many things that we do as women. There are so many different hats that we wear, but let me tell you that none of those hats is more important than you. So a lot of times we'll hear like this idea of self-care, like, oh, I'm just doing self-care, I'm just doing, it's gotten so popular, right? So self-care means everything now. It means, you know, uh, getting your hair done, getting your nails done. Self-care means getting a facial or your eyelashes or whatever. And I remember when I was pregnant with twins and the whole world felt like it was ending. The pregnancy was so hard, just carrying two lives inside of me. And I was also a CEO of a healthcare training startup at the time. And so my schedule was nuts, my body was tired. I just felt like everyone had need of me and there wasn't enough of me to go around. And there are things that I wanted to pursue for sure. I had, yes, I wanted to make the company success, but that wasn't all I wanted to do with my life. But I was so stressed out and so tired that everyone would say, oh, you just need some self-care. And I thought to myself, okay, so what? Uh, everything that's going on in my life, I'm gonna go and get my toes done for an hour, and that's supposed to somehow alleviate the stress that I feel in my life and allow me to chase my dreams? Like, no, that is ridiculous. So I'm not saying self-care is not important. I'm just saying the way we think of self-care has been skewed. It's almost like you can focus on everyone else and run yourself ragged, but as long as you have that eyelash appointment, that little moment of self-care, everything's gonna be all right. Well, ladies, it's not true. It's not gonna be all right just because of that. I did a poll on my Instagram and I asked a lot of you, oh, by the way, here's my Instagram, ding, okay. <laughs> Let's go talk there, follow me there, I'll follow you back and we can have lots of conversations about these things. But I, I polled everyone on my Instagram channel and I said, do you know what your passion is? And probably like 70% of the people said yes, and the other 30 said, I think I do, but you know, I think I do, but I need to dig in a little bit further. And okay, I totally respect that. But when I asked for the people who do know what your purpose is or what your passion is, I should say, why are you not doing it? If you wanna do it, why are you not doing it? Some people said, I have imposter syndrome. Some people had other reasons, but a large majority said, I haven't been able to find the time. So here's the thing. I wanna encourage you guys to build you into your life. Like build yourself in. Don't just do all the things you feel like other people need you to do, the caregiving, the planning, the, the gifting, the, all of the things and leave you out of your life. Like when you hear me say that, it doesn't even make sense. Why would we leave ourselves out of our life? But I'm telling you, we do it all the time. When you look at your schedule, are you in it? Or is it a bunch of other people's needs that you're trying to meet? So I wanna give you a little, for instance, for my own time. Like, like I said, having twins, having kids, and having babies, was a, it was a difficult time. And I had not yet learned to put myself in my schedule. So I was running ragged. Here's what I do now. 
I schedule time for me in the morning. So that means I might have to sacrifice a little sleep early in the morning. I may have to get up a little bit earlier. I'm a Christian, so I like to wake up and I like to read the Bible first thing before my phone. Even sometimes my husband wants to talk immediately, but I'm like, hold on, can we just, can I just like say hello to God first, <laughs> if you don't mind? So I schedule that time with the Lord in. Then I schedule in time with my kids. And then I schedule in my workouts, but just getting that sweat, getting that time that I need to mentally um, gain focus, clear my mind. Hopefully I'm trying to like build some muscle. But <laughs> uh, I think in another video I talked about, I'm trying to get carved out shoulders. So I have to schedule it in or it just will not happen. All right. So I work and then after work, again, I'm scheduling time with my family. I want to know my kids, like, like know them, know them. And so I have to schedule that in as well, or else, you know, work could take over my whole life or the kids could take over my whole life because they need me all day because I don't have that time. But because I do have that time there, they know, and they're like, okay, mommy's cool. She'll like, she's going to spend time with us. Okay. So here's where it gets tricky. I have a lot of passions. I have side businesses. I like to take online courses. I like to always be learning. Um, and I like to always be chasing new, exciting things, building up our family revenue and Gabe does the same. So that means that I have to have time for my passions, my side hustles, my learning, my you know teaching, things like that. To time to edit videos just like this. So because my husband and I are completely in love with each other, we would be happy if we could just sit on a couch at night after we put the kids to bed and just hang out, just the two of us, just chit-chatting all the time, right? But then we wouldn't have time to build our passions. So that means that we have to actually, here we go, schedule ourselves into our calendar, like schedule ourselves into our life so that you know, some nights we schedule in just n nothing time. So that's just like whatever we want to do. If we want to watch a show, if we want to cuddle, if we just like, just want to sit there and zone out and stare at the ceiling, we could do it. That's very important for us. Um, but then other times, other nights we have to schedule in, you know, as a couple, we want to have a prayer life. Um, so we have to schedule those nights in where we just go before God as a couple and pray. Um, we have to schedule in nights that we want to do our online courses. He Hi guys. Hi. All right. Yeah. My kids just got home, so I got to make Mommy, this quick. Oh, yep. Thank you, baby. My you son just said, you Mommy, help. you look beautiful. Mommy, I actually scheduled in time to make this video, but the kids came home a little bit early than I thought they would. So let me let me finish this video just by <laughs> Hi buddy. As they all walk out here. <laughs> let me say this. Self-care is not enough. If you want to fulfill your passions, if you want to chase your dreams and and build something real, it's going to take the sacrifice of time. And in order for you to give that sacrifice of time, you are going to have to schedule it in. You have to schedule you into your life in every area. I know I'm a woman, you're a woman. We know that this, what I'm saying is difficult until it becomes a rhythm. It is very hard to find time for yourself. So, but think about it. How often are you just scrolling social media endlessly? How often is it, you know, TikTok time? How often is it, you know, YouTube videos? I'm glad you're here watching this, but maybe next time you watch one quick video and then you schedule in time to work on your passions and to move your dreams forward. That's, that is what is most important. You are the most important and making sure that you have a life that you love and that you're not just living day by day, but you are looking into the future and saying, here's where I wanna go, here's what I need to do, and here's the step that I need to take.
that's gonna take you putting it in your schedule. So ladies, please stop putting yourself last. Put yourself first by writing it down. When are you focusing on you? When are you getting what you need? And when are you gonna take time to plan for your future? All right, I hope that helped. I hope that everyone gets out their calendar after this and really starts to look at their time and see where can you build you into your own life. Thanks.